Hey guys, something real quick that I forgot to mention while I was making this video. Uh, next week, early on, I am making a guitar cover of The Outnumbered from the first Zombie EP. And uh, it's taken me a long time to make because I'm using like green screen effects and uh, doing like a funny skit that goes along with it for the zombie theme. So if that's something of interest to you, uh, go ahead and subscribe so that you see that when it comes out. And uh, if you're seeing it later, it's probably already out. Go check it out. And uh, without further ado, let's get to this reaction. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a reaction video to the music video Forlorn by The Devil Wears Prada. Been a while since I've done one of my reaction videos. A lot more of you watch these videos than are actually subscribed to my channel. So what's the deal with that? Anyways, go ahead and uh, check out some of the other content on here. I do a lot more than reaction videos. I do like album reviews, skits. I have a Star Wars podcast if that floats your boat too. A little bit of background on on me and the Devil Wears Prada. Uh, man, they were like my ultimate gateway band. Like I've always been uh, a little more in tune with like rock, metal, things of that nature. I've always been a little bit more drawn to that but as far as like the low tuned really chuggy lots of screaming stuff they were like the first band that i really really dug and uh i i know that they have admitted that they don't really like a lot of their old stuff uh but but like man i remember the first uh one of the first cds that was like my own and it might have been the first like really heavy album that was ever like my own was uh dear love the beautiful discord and I still think that album's pretty fun. It's not their best record, but it's fun, and I do listen to it sometimes. Uh, man, and I remember with the the friggin' zombie EP that they did, it, it blew twelve year old my twelve year old me's mind. Just boom. And if I remember right, uh, it, at least part of that and Dead Throne, which is uh, by far my favorite record by them, uh, maybe the best medical record ever made. I'll fight you on that. I think that's true. <laughs> it was uh, recorded at the Black Lodge studio in Eudora, Kansas, which was about two blocks from uh, where I went to high school. So uh, pretty weird, small world, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so Prada just dropped Zombie 2 today. Uh, got you yeah, pretty old. Uh, yeah, I'm probably cooler than 80% of you watching this just because I still buy physical music. So today we are going to be reacting to this music video. Uh, I did actually hear this song already once uh, because I saw their their live stream. Uh, but I always have to listen to a song two or three times before I have a real opinion of it anyway. So this will help solidify that. And then, man, I remember with Zombie, I was like, why the heck are there is there a real music video for this? Like this is it sounds cinematic as heck. And there's no music video. And so uh, I'm excited to see maybe a little bit of zombie killing action in this video. I don't really know what to expect. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Oh, that's a cool riff. Oh. Just based on what I've heard uh, from the couple singles from this EP already, uh, Terminate and uh, Nightfall, like this is some of the best riffs that they've written in a while, and and I'm all for it. Oh, we got some uh, some freaky medical stuff. I don't know. It's nice to hear a little bit of melody. The uh, the couple of singles that they dropped were pretty heavy. Like they still had the 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 queen singing and stuff, but the the heavy dynamics. Like nothing. If everything's heavy, nothing's heavy. You know. The uh, the lighting's really cool. I I'm a sucker for that. Oh. I know a lot of Prada stuff is in uh, drop B, drop A, that kind of range. So. Uh, I'm not, I don't have like great ears or anything, but I wonder if a lot of this is in drop A or something just because those, man, those breakdowns just hit so hard. 
Okay, so now we're running through the woods. So if we're gonna see some zombies, I'm hoping to see it soon. I wonder what that does to your music video budget if you have to have zombies in it. Do you think, do you think that makes the budget have to get way bigger or something? Okay, so something went down here. That's not good. Maybe she's a zombie. That is nasty. Oh, that layered vocal is so cool. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. It's zombie time. All the scientists are making a run for it. They're also all wearing the masks. Is this is this the coronavirus? <laughs> is this the corona is is COVID twenty gonna be uh the zombie virus? Oh, here they are. Oh, oh, this isn't gonna go well. Oh, there was a zombie. Gosh. All right. Cool. We got a little bit of zombie action. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So that was really cool. Uh, I definitely would have liked to see more capitalization on the, the zombie-esque-ness of it, but I think a lot of it also just has to do with illness in general. Like, I really, honest to God, can't help but think that uh, part of the the need to do this was um, uh, in due to the corona, COVID-19 situation, uh, but I, I, I read in an interview that the initial plan was to do like a, a one or two song, seven inch release uh, of a, just one or two new songs for the 10th anniversary of the zombie EP. But then uh, because of the COVID situation, uh, they just ended up with a lot more free time and it became uh, this. So uh, with that in mind, and also uh, look at this art, like I'm pretty sure that's a place that they've been to in The Walking Dead. <laughs> But I think that's also kind of cool mentioning The Walking Dead because I think the first zombie EP, uh, I don't know which, who of you still watch it. I'm probably in the minority being a loser who still watches The Walking Dead. But if I remember right, the first season started around the time that the first zombie EP came out. And then now that uh, the next season of Walking Dead is going to be the last season, uh we're, we're getting the second zombie EP. So it kind of, kind of cool how that worked out. I, I don't know if that was like very forward in their mind when they were putting all this together, but, uh, just a, a either a cool coincidence or fun how they plan that out either way. Yeah. So I kind of made the, the comment that was like, does it add more? Like, does your budget have to expand a lot to get like actual zombie makeup and stuff? And, you know, I mean, that probably is true because like, think of all of the like crazy stuff that you would see in walking dead. It was ridiculous and then i think also maybe part of it too is that uh as fun as the zombie music is and music about the zombie apocalypse it's gruesome and like i think that would upset a lot of the devil wars prada fan base because they're one of those bands that like uh are pretty into the christian metal community um they at least have a lot of roots there i don't know how much or so that that's still true um but uh, yeah i mean i don't know uh but man that's a cool song like uh i i think just in general this ep uh musically and arrangement wise has some of my favorite music that they've done in a long time now i'm not one of those snobs who's like oh their 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 scene stuff was way better and this new pretentious stuff is dumb i'm not all about that at all uh i actually think that their most recent record the act was really cool I thought Transit Blues was really cool. Uh, each of those records has a handful of songs that I, I listen to pretty regularly. Um, I'm all for them trying weird stuff. Um, but there is something about this that it just hits a little closer to home. It reminds me a little bit more of the Prada that got me into Prada. You know, uh, original Zombie EP, uh, Dead Throne, uh, to a lesser extent with Roots Above, um, like, but I love this band, man. <laughs> and uh, so it's cool to hear this because, uh, yeah, as far as the arrangements go, uh, it's some of my favorite music that they've done in a while. Um, and I'm really excited to hear what they continue to do. Uh, uh, just a, a little side note also with their with their new music. I think their uh, their new drummer is great. Uh, if I remember right, he uh, used to be the drummer for Haste of the Day. 
and I love that band, man. <laughs> like Ace of Day were tight. They were really cool musicians. Um, that I think that's going to have to do for this time. Uh, what do you guys think of this video? What do you think of this song? The Zombie EP number two, Z2. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Let me know down in the comments down below. And if you also have something else that you think I should check out, maybe something I haven't heard, let me know in the comments down below of that as well. And I'll try to get around to doing a reaction video. And uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, give it a share if you feel. Uh, check out my channel. I do a lot of other stuff other than reaction videos. So uh, you've been great. And uh, bye. I'll see you at some other point.